Tommy Sam! Hi. Great to see you. Nice to see you. How are you? Yeah, there we go. Matt, Ardo. Hello. Lovely to see you. Hello. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Now, the last time we saw you, you were wowing Eurovision with our best Ooh. result in 24 years. There we go. <laughs> I know you've been busy since then. Your feet haven't touched the ground. Non-stop. Non-stop. Very grateful. Need a nap, but so grateful to be so busy. You've been on tour all across Europe. We have. We did 43 days on the road, 26 shows, 19 countries. Yeah, long. Lots of festivals. Lots of big milestones this year, which has been incredible. I can't believe it's only been nine months since... I was here for the Eurosong. Yeah, that's amazing. It's, it's crazy. Amazing. <laughs> um, so you are a proper witch. Halloween is just round the corner. Yes. Uh, how do you spend this time of year? Well, you know, it's the only time of year that I don't get um, commented on looking like this. People <laughs> think it's normal. <laughs> so that's amazing. Um, this year, I'm actually doing my headline show in the Academy, a Halloween show here. Okay. So. I'm very excited to spend that with my coven and my fans and give them a real treat. Uh, but I'm really, really happy to be back in Ireland where Halloween originates from, as we all know. And there's something different in there here on Halloween. And in... so can, can you feel that? Can you feel that? Well, I mean, I can feel it now. <laughs> I'm feeling it now. Yeah, I don't know, is it just the, like the changing? The leaves, uh, the trees changing, just like we're shedding parts of ourselves that we've learned for the whole year. Ireland always has much more magical energy to me anyway, feeling, you know, because I live in London most of the time. So I come back and I get this wave of beautiful energy just from even the air at the airport in Dublin. I'm like, it smells different. <laughs> Did you feel that magical uh, energy, Matt, when you landed at the airport? Yes. <laughs> Yes, when we were, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful, you know what I went to do? I, I, um, uh, I know a lot of people come here and the first thing they do is they, they, they go to a bar and, and get some uh, proper Guinness, but I actually went and bought some chocolate because I love the Irish, because you get all different Cadbury's chocolate here oh, and everything. Mint crisp. Yeah, so I went Golden and got a mint crisp. crisp. And uh, uh, all of those, a tiffin and the turkey, all the things we don't get in the UK. So I was, I was straight into that spa I was. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. should go out trick-or-treating then. I then. should do, yeah. But you need I'm... a hot chicken roll. Yes, I should try Me. that as well, yeah. Oh, you, you're living the dream, Matt. Yes. You're living the dream. <laughs> yeah. Gladiator 2 to a chicken roll. Oh, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, talk to me about uh, spell craft. Yes. Um, is that something that we should all be practising? How does, how does that work? Well, I do a lot of sigil magic, so I guess there's uh, there's lots of different things. If I had my own altar in my own place, I would do more potions, but sigils is for me when I write like a, an affirmation or a spell or a, uh, something personal and I get rid of all the repeating letters and the vowels and I'm left with letters that make a symbol. And then I have... I put that symbol places where I want to be reminded subconsciously of it because I'm not, never going to remember the entirety of what I've written. But it's, it's uh, I guess, just a, a simple way of manifesting and changing your mindset. It's, it's personal therapy, witchcraft is for me, you know. Do you, do you manifest, Ardell? Is that something that you do when you're trying to focus on something you want? No. Okay. What do you uh, do? I, well, no, I have a very healthy respect <laughs> for the supernatural. Actually, I had a very spooky experience um, uh, a good few years ago now. And maybe you can explain this, actually, because no one has ever explained this to oh. me. Um, do you mind if I... Uh, well, interrupt? Can you tell us? Sorry. Uh, um, so when my first daughter was uh, about a year and a half old. She was less than two anyway. And we were in bed one Saturday morning, quite early. Myself, my wife, Melanie, and my daughter in between us. And the doorbell rang. And it was very unusual for the doorbell to ring at half seven on a Saturday morning. And we're at the back of the house. And my wife started like, who, who would that be now at this hour? This, that's, that's how she speaks at the weekends. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, she, uh, we should dim the lights at this point, surely, <laughs> during this story. Um, 
is Colette still working here? Dim the lights, Colette. <laughs> That's a reference for older viewers. No, hang on. Colette rolls it. Pat does the lights. Oh, so. sorry. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm interrupting my own story, my own very uh, scary story, and I'm getting goosebumps talking about it. So we're lying in bed, half uh, eight or half seven on a Saturday morning, and a uh, little baby in between the two of us, and the, and the doorbell goes, and we're going, who, who is that? And at which point, my daughter, who has never completed a full sentence at this stage, pipes up and says, it's a lady with a pram. <laughs> and we both leaped out of bed, to get away from her. <laughs> <laughs> Did her head spin round at that point? <laughs> and, uh, this is absolutely true. And we ran to the front of the house and opened the curtains, and yes, indeed, it was a lady with a pram looking up at the window. Wow. And wow. to this day, utterly baffled by that, no one has ever been able to explain it. How and old it was definitely your child? happened. She was a year and a half. See, I think kids see, see things that we don't, and I think. They're just more in tune. I think yeah. they're more in tune. You ever hear those stories of kids who are like really young and they're like, oh, this is my past life. This is who I was. And then they do the, the research and they say that like the place they've described is there and as they've described it, but they're like three or four years old. Yeah. There's so many things we don't There's know. So many things. There's so many things. Uh, I do you think kids and, uh, know stuff like kids? They do. And we actually have uh, the lady with the pram. Uh, she's coming out right now. Uh, thank you so, so much. It's an amazing thank song. Uh, good luck with Thanksy. Good luck uh, with the gig at the Academy yes. uh, on Halloween night. Uh, one more time, give it up for Bambi Thurn! <laughs>